As we all know, weather can have the final say when it comes to crop production. And when it comes to weeds, it has a major effect as well. Here to talk to us about how to control weeds in these really high temperatures is weed extension specialist Joe Armstrong. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, you're welcome. Um, first of all, what, is the, what are these high temperatures doing to the weeds? Well, the weeds are responding to the high temperatures and the dry conditions that we've had uh, lately by thickening the, the waxy cuticle on their leaf surface. So trying to preserve as much moisture as they can. And that makes it difficult to get the herbicide into the leaf surface and so it can move throughout the plant to, to get weed control there. So what do we need to do with the herbicide in order to, um, so should we wait or should we spray now? Well, ideally you'd, you'd like to have active weed growth okay. to get the best uh, weed control activity from your herbicide. Um, but oftentimes growers won't have that opportunity. So if they are trying to spray in, in these hot dry conditions, um, especially with glyphosate, it would be best to up those rates um, maybe to a one and a half or a two X rate uh, what they would normally use. So more is better then? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Now okay. you need to be careful though if you are making an application to a, a uh, glyphosate resistant crop that you don't exceed the, the limit per application or per season as well. Okay, is there anything that they need to add to the herbicide in their tank before they spray? Yeah, certainly. Anytime you're using glyphosate, it's always important to add ammonium sulfate a dry spray grade ammonium sulfate at a rate of eight and a half to 17 pounds per 100 gallons of spray solution. And that'll help increase the herbicide activity anytime, and especially with some of these more difficult weeds. Um, but in the, in the hot, dry conditions, that'll help kick up the activity of the glyphosate a little more too. And what are, what are some of these weeds that are probably going to be a little bit harder to control? Well, the ones that are always tough will be uh, mare's tail or horseweed, um, velvet leaf, uh, morning glory, yellow nut sedge. Those will always be tough, uh, but in, in these hot, dry conditions, most weeds will be a little tougher. Okay, so it's maybe better to wait until, what, we get a rain and then... Yeah, that, that would be ideal. Okay. Um, but like I said, you know, if guys are trying to go, they don't have that opportunity, so um, just increasing that rate would be their, their best bet. What are some of the other concerns with using glyphosate? Well, one thing, especially when it's dry like this, is dusty conditions. Um, glyphosate will bind very tightly to the soil and that makes it good for crop rotations where you don't worry about any herbicide carryover. Um, but if, if it is dry and dusty uh, and that's on the leaf surface, you're going to see the glyphosate bind to the, the soil on that leaf and lose your activity. So again, it'd be best to wait until you can get some irrigation over there or, or a little bit of rain to wash off the leaf surface so you can get the, the best activity from the glyphosate. Another problem uh, that, that's coming along, especially in surrounding states, but also in Oklahoma, is uh, glyphosate resistant weeds. And I'm, I'm new to Oklahoma, but I've heard plenty of stories about weeds that are being, uh, getting tougher and tougher to control with glyphosate. Well, is there anything that you could do in that situation then if glyphosate's not working for you? Certainly. Um, be sure to, to throw in an extra herbicide that you know will have good activity on those weeds. Um, and if, if you do notice a few weeds that are hanging on after an application, uh, get off the tractor there or off the sprayer and, and pull those out so they don't set seed and, and cause future problems there. All right, Joe, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much.